It's called Black Metal. Hello, cat people. How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone, and today we are doing a D&D body paint. Before I start, I would like to tell you some things. First of all, I've never played D&D in my life. And you know, I found the idea of transforming myself into a D&D character very, very interesting because I love the colors, first of all. The colors are everything to me. And then I love this mix of human and non-human elements that every character pretty much has. So for today, I decided to start with a character which I do not remember my name, so excuse me, but I want a help here. So the character is called 1T Pureblood. I'm gonna show you a picture. Like, it's this character right here. I will try to do the dress and the jewelry and everything because I find it, wow, very, very fierce and um, in a way like majestic as a character. So I'm gonna start with that today. And if you're interested to see this, let's start. Here is up, glasses are on. And as always, I'm gonna start by doing all the lines for my dress, for my jewelry, for everything. So I'm gonna take a pretty old pencil of mine, this one right here, and I will start by doing the lines. Not only I finished with the lines, but I finished with this side as well in order for you to have something to see, like the final result. And now I'm going to this side. First of all, I would like to start with the golden and the golden is a mix. So let me show you how I created the golden. First of all, I took this palette right here. This is from Revolution Pro 4K highlighter palette. I think that it's discontinued, but don't worry, it's not that special of a palette. Anyway, then I took my mix medium from Inglot. This is the Dura line, and I took some drops and I put them inside the golden in order to make it in a liquid form and more opaque, I would say. So we have the drops here. Then I took a very, very fine brush. This is from Makeup by Tami, number three, because I need a sharp brush because I'm gonna work with details. Can you see the mix here, the mix that I'm creating. So it's very nice and opaque and this is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna take my mirror and I will go to this part right here and this button right here and I will apply my mix. I will continue by doing this, I don't know how to say, let's say triangle. So in order to do them, I will take my brush here. You see how sharp it is. So I'm gonna take an amount of my golden, then I will just press the edge. And while I'm going down, I will press the brush more and more in order to create that shape, which starts kind of narrow and then it's getting white. So let's go and do it. Now I'm gonna let my golden colors dry a little bit and I will move on to the purple. So I have created my own purple right here from the previous makeup that I have done. It was in Dell. If you haven't watched this video, it's gonna be up here or you can always subscribe to this channel. You can hit the bell and in this way, you're not gonna miss any of the future videos. Anyway, back to the relevancy, you're taking or I will take this purple right here and I will start with a tiny, tiny brush again because I wanna make sure that I will not go on the gold. So with this brush, I'm gonna start and then this brush, of course, it's tiny. I cannot fill the whole area here. I'm gonna continue with this brush, which is kinda bigger. I don't know if you can see it. It's this brush right here. And then I will fill the rest. Now that I finished with the basic design, I'm gonna take my favorite eye pencil from NYX Professional Makeup, the Epic Ink Eyeliner, and I'm gonna create all the lines in order to shape the whole dress better. Now that we finished with all the hard lines with the NYX Eyeliner, I'm going to take some eyeshadow from my palette right here. As always, I'm gonna use this palette. This is the collaboration that Morphe has done with, oops, James Charles. And from this palette, which you know I have loved a lot, I'm gonna take the black right here and I will enhance some shadows. I will add some lights with this purple. And in general, I'm gonna bring this into this. 
going to shine with golden as you can see i'm working with my jewelry right now first of all i have done half of my necklace the golden one so the idea is to do the rest golden in front of you for you to understand the whole procedure and then i have this thing right here this is something between a bracelet and snake scales and basically i want to copy this here and for this i'm gonna use two things basically first of all this palette right here you have seen it a million times is from the brand you can be the palette is called athena and i'm using this golden and of course i'm setting it up with this revolution pro palette and the golden highlighter eyeshadow i don't remember what it was but it's perfect to set up every golden that i'm using so let's start we are moving on by doing the shadows as you can see i have already started and i'm using again from james charles palette two colors this one right here which i hit upon today yay and this one right here again i hit upon today today is my lucky day i hit two pants how proud are you about me anyway something relevant before i continue outside it's snowing so much and to me it's crazy because it's the 5th of april here in sweden but oh my god that makes me happy don't get me wrong like whenever i see snow i feel so so happy but it's still very weird for me so if you follow me on instagram you have already seen this craziness because of course i filmed that because of course i talked about that on instagram if you don't follow me and if you don't want to miss such phenomena as this one you can always go and follow me now if you're not already following my instagram page is cat lady Antigone. i'm gonna leave it down here as always and now let's go back to the shading after i finished with the golden parts of my bracelet then i took this white body paint this is from Julian spiegel as you can see the hole is becoming bigger and bigger and actually i have bought some new white body paint so be prepared to see it very very soon at this channel anyway with this white body paint i did some details here in order to give more light to this whole bracelet and create the effect of 3d also at this point i would like to explain you why i haven't used from nyx the epic ink eyeliner in white the reason behind that is that with this i find it kind of easier to blend with the oil body paint this one right here and i feel that in general it gives a more natural effect that's why i prefer this in comparison to the eyeliner for this specific makeup only if i'm using only water activated colors then i might go preferably with the other one but since i'm doing the oils this is the best choice anyway let's go to the necklace what i have done is to add these golden things at the bottom i don't really know how they are called but now i'm gonna go to the main part and i'm gonna add some shadows some lights in order to make it a little bit more 3d and in order to give the shape that the pure blood character which i don't remember her name right now has and with the necklace i finally finished with the body paint part now i'm gonna check if i still have reptile ish eye lenses if yes i'm gonna go and wear them and i will be right back to do the face if i don't have i will just be back to do the face anyway as you can see i have found my lenses and they are working perfectly i was so lucky and they are not dry so next step is to block my eyebrows i decided that this time i don't want to show you like in many details how i'm gonna do it just I want you to see the glue and this step because I don't have to do any color correction since my eyebrows look they are blitzed so this makes things a lot easier for me I'm gonna apply the glue and then some powder and we are done okay I'm not really happy with my eyebrows because although that I have bleached them they are still dark for some reason and I don't know I don't think that I covered them perfectly I might go back and do some color correction I would like to see how they will be with the foundation on I will try to put a foundation with quite high coverage because I don't want to risk anything now I have continued by applying my primer and the idea for the eyes is to do 
a dark green smoky eye and I might use this duochrome this is from green to purple but as I have already told you this is a very very bad quality so it's already dried first of all I'm gonna apply this pigment right here this is from a Swedish brand I don't know if it's indie I think it's indie it's called Feli and uh, the pigment is in the shade jungle let's go through let me explain you all the extra steps that I have done. First of all, I took from this palette, War Paint, this highlighting shade, Bleach, and I added a little bit here at my inner corner. Then I took the black eyeshadow, Authentic, and created a smoked eyeliner. After that, I went with my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner and I enhanced the whole result. Also, I grabbed the eyeliner here at my inner corner and now let me do everything at this side. Now that my serpent eyes are here, I will continue by doing my face and you know pretty much the procedure. First of all, NYX and Marshmallow Primer, then the most covering foundation that I have and this is from Aiden in combination with Lumene these two together and then I will do some green contouring but before that I will update you but I want to do my base pretty much alone because it's the most boring part and I don't want you to be bored well what do you think about my green contouring do you like it actually I kept this side to do it for you guys so I took my palette James Charles as always and from this palette I took this dark green right here and I used it in a combination with this color right here which is kind of yellowish to create this contouring also before I start doing it I want to tell you about this gem right here actually this is fully made of oil paint and I have used this palette Athena the gold like you have seen a lot of golden things in today's makeup so i didn't find it that important to show you again and again how i'm creating the golden parts of my outfit anyway i took this one and then for the actual gem i took this pink right here and i set everything with this which is kind of darker and especially placed it here to create kind of a fake shadow or something like that and of course with my white aqua color i created the lights anyway let's go back to the contouring i'm gonna take my brush and i'm gonna show you how i created the country and now it's time for the greek word of the day as you can see today i look like a serpent well not fully a serpent because the character is kind of half woman half reptile and in my interpretation she is a serpent and not just a reptile because you know i talked with my boyfriend who actually has played dnd and he explained me that i do not have to stay very true to what i see at the book so of course i grabbed that opportunity and i designed something even bigger anyway back to the relevancy now uh, today as I told you I'm gonna tell you the Greek word for serpent and in Greek we say Phoebe say with me Phoebe Phoebe you can also find Phoebe as a snake but it's actually both so as always I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word Phoebe like to makiyasmu in ena Phoebe you see you see what i did here or tell me the word serpent in your own native language for my lips i'm gonna go with black and specifically this black eye pencil from mix professional makeup it's called black metal oh it's a great name actually i love this name and i'm gonna do some extra stuff to look more like a serpent and tell me do you want to see more dnd characters if yes don't forget to subscribe to this channel leave this video a big like and write a comment down below like yes i want to see more dnd characters or i want to see this specific body paint just recommend me things i'm dying to getting new ideas more and more from you because i actually had some very good comments i start working on it like how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna design a little bit the whole idea so i would like to have more feedback from you guys anyway back to the lips i'm gonna use this and then i will see if i'm gonna use something green for my lower lip or if i'm just gonna leave it creepy and serpentish 
Well, I decided what I want with my lower lip. Since I want to give this character a human nature, not only a serpent nature, I'm gonna go with the black pencil that I used for the upper lip and then I'm gonna apply the green shadow from Ferry, uh, as I did on my eyes, basically. So I wanna create the same effect to kinda have everything together in this makeup. And that was it for today. I hope that you enjoy the makeup. I hope that you enjoy the transformation. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today. See you tomorrow for a more chatty video. Until then, bye bye!